Okay, fight fans, friends in the room joining us now. He's in another big fight. Philly's own our guy, Gabe Rosado. Hey, what's up, bro? What's going on? Sir? Listen, w when I look at you, I don't know what the hell, what kind of food you're eating in LA or Philly, but they say you're always in a bunch of walls, but you look like a like a 22 year old fresh kid. Yeah. Your face, I don't know, I guess your face heals up good. But yeah. how, what is it about you, Gabe, that you're, you're still in big fights, yeah. despite of the losses, the battles, the wars that you've been in. Um, you're still fighting one of the top light heavyweights in the world. Now you're moving up another weight class, another risky yeah. fight. What is it the fans like about you, Gabe? Yeah, man. You know, I just think it's just the the heart and just the the will to just keep keep trying, bro, and not just you know what I mean. Not being discouraged and just like having short term memory. It happens and it's like I right, keep pushing. <laughs> Word. Yeah, because at one point, at one point, ju just to add to that, at one point, you know, you even had a conversations with us, but I don't know, I might, I might hang it up. This might be it. Yeah. I've done enough in this sport. Yeah. And then you have this second win, this surge. Yeah. What, what was that difference? Yeah, man. It's just that it's like, it's just me being honest with myself and having that conversation with myself where it's like, you know, it's funny because when I went on that run and I knocked out Beck and then I had that 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 great fight versus Mungia and, and yeah. Middleweight, yeah. you know, I, I, I it was like I had that drive, man. I was I was hungry. I was like on a mission, man. When I knocked out back and I went on fucking gear, and then it's kind of it's funny, man. It's like I'm not explain it. Once I become the A side <laughs> to fight Mosley, mm -hmm. it's like I do. It's like I'm human, man. So you make that mistake where it's like, oh Mosley, and no disrespect to him because he's a good fighter, mm -hmm. but you know. You can't make that error, man. You can't make that mistake of like overlooking at some overlooking somebody when you fight a, a great fighter in, in back as far as his amateur background, the way he, he you know, he's snatching dudes. You know what I mean? He, he killing them with that body shot. And then, you know, a guy like Mungia, and then you get down to a guy like, uh, like I said, Mosley, you kind of just breeze through camp. And that's dangerous, man. And I made that mistake, man. And so I just was honest with myself. Like, man, I really ain't get myself, like I really ain't go turn up. And camp the way I should have. So, so when you say breeze through camp, obviously that's all your fault. But I'm like, yeah, do, do your trainer, does, does Freddie or any other trainer that you working with at the time? Do they say, my man, you, you need to do more of this 100. or that? So here's the thing, Freddie was honest with me, and the problem was I was in Puerto Rico because I had just got a crib out there, right? Yeah, and I was in PR a little too long. <laughs> oh. So in the camp for that fight, I literally had like a month. And you know, I kind of, I kind of stretched my stay in PR a little too long. So when I was in, in camp with Freddie, I was like playing catch up, and Freddie was really like trying to get me going because Freddie was like, "Man, you know, you were on this, you was on a whole different gear for the Mungia fight." And Freddie was trying to get me going, but you know, it was, it was hard, man. It was hard on, you know, I, I did that to myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. Now, Freddie, obviously a Hall of Fame trainer. What does yeah. he say about you? Stepping up and going up to light heavyweight to fight a guy like Zerto. Yeah, well, you know, I think you're not training with Freddie now, oh. right? Oh. Yeah, I'm a Freddie. Yeah, I'm a Freddie. Oh, okay. Um, Freddie's excited just because you know I'm giving him that. I'm giving him that same, that same drive, that same hunger that I did. Mm -hmm. You know, in fights that those meaningful fights, man. And you know, um, I told Freddie, man, whatever you want, you need you want me to run 20 miles, you want me, whatever you want me to do. Wow, I'm gonna rock out. Because yeah. is 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 one of those fights that means something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a meaningful fight. You know, Rulo didn't look so great in the in his last fight, but I'm definitely not gonna sleep on him. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a dangerous dude. He's a bigger man. Yeah. So I got I got to be on my A game. A hundred percent. I mean, think about it. There was a time when I remember Ak Ak asked him, "Hey, who's who's the next young guy that you have coming up that's gonna surprise people and that's gonna do well?" And he said, Gabriel Rosado. And I was like, what, a couple of years ago? <laughs> you know, so he knows what's inside of you and he knows what you can produce. So yeah. you probably just let him down and yourself down at that time. So do, do you, I, I always wondered, do you get, have you really experienced hate from other fighters who after one loss, they're like pushed to the side and here you are, you have more losses and you get the big fights all the time? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I don't, man. I get I get a lot of love and even even from wow. the fans. 
like you know you know i'll be seeing some people fans pages. is understandable but i'm talking yeah, about like yeah. jealousy from fighters no, yeah I'll be, I'll be seeing people's pages where the fighters be talking crazy to other fighters and fans mm -hmm. and all that and i really don't experience that man wow um you know uh I think you ain't you ain't filtering through all the comments. You gotta dig deep. <laughs> but I hear what you're saying. It's not it's not blatant. It's not out there. But for the most part, yeah, yeah. For the most part, it's not like that. Right. But you know what I'm saying. I think it's um. I think it's like my career, man. Is like life, bro. It's like you know what I mean. Life is like wow. You got I like that downs, bro. And I really yeah. be looking at my career like life, man. Like you know, can you imagine that? Like in life, when when things get hard, you let that you let that defeat you. You ain't yes. never. What you gonna make out of your life if you let these little problems, these adversities, like you know, life happen? And it's that's really how crazy to say that. Wow. Yeah, that's how I look at fights. It's like, damn man, it hurt. It's like a heartbreak. Right? Right. It's you, like a you heartbreak. Know, I, I, like, oh. Absolutely. You gotta, that, you gotta go through that that phase of like what you really made of, and then once you put yourself back on, it's like, all right, you're good. Yeah. So Imagine that's how I look at it, man. It's like okay. life, bro. Imagine if we we got losses on our record throughout our life. You know Word. what I'm saying? I, you, all these fighters would have a lot of L's. <laughs> I would yeah. have a lot of L's. Yeah, I remember yeah. one time somebody was talking to Floyd and they said, they said something about his undefeated record. He said, yeah, but I might have an undefeated record, but I've lost in life. Yeah. He said, I've lost yeah. in relationships. I've lost in life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And yo, we would, our record would look crazy. It would be like four and yeah. 96,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's up, yeah, it's up. And it's like that. Anything, anything that comes great, man, it always gonna come with defeat. Like you always gonna have those battles, man. Yeah. And, you know, I remember when I first started, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna be like 40 and 0. Yeah. This division champ, this division champ, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And then like, this is where I'm at. But it's like, yeah. I embrace it because I'm like, yo, like my career is unique and it's different because it's very like, unique. Yeah. it's just very unique. And it's like, man, it's like what inspires me more than anything. It's just like, I want to show people like, yo, if you, if you brush it off, you can get back on. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Wow. You yeah. just got to brush it off. And it ain't easy. It's hard. Right. Especially, hard especially in this sport, really hard. you know, this is not a regular sport, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's uh, it's it's not easy to keep going. And, and you know, I got a strong faith in God, so Amen. a lot of a lot of the things I do is I have my conversations with God, and like you know, sometimes I think we get so overwhelmed with things that is out of our control, mm -hmm. where like I go like, "Yo, God, take this baggage, this weight off my back." Yes, I'm gonna do my part. Take this weight off my back, and that's so we got to do that, man. Like that's important because. Sometimes we be trying to carry that load, right. and that's what slows us down because we we focus on this, 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 and it's like, yo, chill, yeah. let that yeah. thing, let God take care of that, and then just keep it pushing. You know, at some point, you will have to make that decision, right? Uh, on yeah. on hanging up on uh, hanging it up on this sport. Yeah. You've you've been that's in true. films, right? You still look good. You still look young. Is Gabe going to? Take acting serious, maybe in his <laughs> next chapter in life. Take classes okay. and 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 look for 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 more significant roles in films. No doubt. No, there's definitely other other opportunities that I have and other things I want to venture on. But I just gotta like, you know what I mean? Like this fight for me is very important, and it's Thank a fight. You. I love that, that answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a fight. This I just want to. Man, I'm just like locked in, man. And I know Zuldo. Like me and Zuldo know each other for years. Yeah. And we've worked with each other. We sparred right. with each other. Man, I lost yeah, he count. Just, he just told us, he just told us that he helped you get ready for Beck. Like he's he, he's the reason he was why my you knocked man's him out. <laughs> when I fought Beck. But that's why wow. I was so that's why I was so ready, because when Beck, he's so powerful and strong, I was able to take those certain shots just because I'm a sparring uh a big guy in Zuldo. so i know Zuldo well he knows me well too man we've had some great great sparring sessions right so, so are are you sparring I, each other now for this fight but i got some great i got some great work at, at wildfire man some 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 strong uh light and so but yeah See, that's, that's the thing though I'm, I'm sorry but when, when we when we heard about this we was like this freaking Gabe is crazy. Like we knew you was crazy, but I'm like, this freaking guy is crazy. But then I thought about it. I was like, wait a minute. And I was speaking to um uh, Ramirez, and I was like, wait a minute. You guys both in LA. You guys probably sparred together before. And he said yes. So I said, all right, Gabe is crazy still, but he knows something. Yeah. What yeah. do you know? What what, what does the sparring sessions with him teach you that you can hang? What 
thing is, the thing is, with a guy like him, he, he's crafty, he's smart, and a lot of the times is when we we bang the line camp together, but a lot of the times is like a is his chest, but it's like high level chest. It's like bang, 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 bang. It's that kind of chest. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and you know, it's just been great sessions, but it was just one of those things where I, I was in Puerto Rico and I was uh, I was I was just having a walk and it just came to my mind. I was like, damn, if I was Zulu, it would be dope. <laughs> and I so, kind of so you put, reached out for that fight. I, was it you that initiated? No, no, no. I just I put it out there. Mm. I was like, I like I just put it out there, bro. And then um, me and Robert spoke, and then it was a conversation we had, and he was like, damn, he loved it. And I was like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm I, I, matter of fact, I had a conversation with Julian, who's uh, Zulu's trainer, because I'm real cool with Julian. And it was like, yeah, we hate to fight each other because we we friends, but I was like, you know, let's, let's do this. this. is a great fight, and I think fights dudes that know each other be the be the be the best the ones. Best fights, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Now look, this way, this is a these are big guys that like heavyweight. If you do, because you are going into this fight, you see yourself being an underdog, which you like being. You don't want you want we don't want to be the A side. I feel comfortable. Um, with it. <laughs> are, are, yeah, you're more comfortable. If you do that, are you gonna campaign at light heavyweight and stay there? You know what's crazy, bro? Like, so I walk around at I walk around like eighty six. You know what I mean? I get close to ninety sometimes, and uh, I'm honestly, bro, like, especially at my age, I'm happy I don't have to cut. Like mm -hmm. for real, I know the Zulu is gonna be naturally the bigger man, but the fact that I don't have to cut, man, like that's love, bro. Like you know, I could just I could just grub. I eat, I eat clean, but I'm just, you know what I mean? And it's like definitely gives me a lot more energy, man. So. You yeah, know, but, yeah, but if you ain't used to fighting these guys that probably walk around like two hundred, you yeah. know, dang, Gabe. I mean, Gabe, we close. That's why you know this no, is no, hard no, for you. me. You know I what I'm saying? Like, like, I feel you, but you know, like, you know, I've worked with big guys all the time. I've worked with big guys all the time. You know what I'm saying? So starting from right. Bernard, I was a big dude. So you know, a lot of the times, is the the big guys is like there's middle ways to punch harder than like heavyweights. Okay. I'm sure I, I'm sure I fought plenty of middleweights to punch harder than like heavyweights. Right. You know Has saying? anybody ever punched you harder so, than Golovkin? You gotta remember he he was he's a sharp puncher. He's not a like I didn't I didn't think he was a big punch. I think Lemieux was a bigger puncher, but he was oh, a sharp. Right. But he's like a snap. You know what I mean? It's like that snap. Yeah. But yeah. he was Zuto. I don't. It's not. It's not a thing of punching power. It's a thing of not allowing. So and, and and you know like use that physical weight, that lean and all that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, I feel like the size advantage is more when it comes to the weight rather than the punch. Because I feel like a midweight that's a powerful KO puncher can knock out a light heavyweight. You, you understand what right. I'm saying? When I got punching. you. Yeah. So like 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 Canelo. Canelo's a very small guy. Yeah. 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 So I feel like I feel like the difference. You know, in puncher power, I would I would say there's guys that I fought at, I, at middleweight that are bigger punchers than Zuldo. Well, you know, listen, Zuldo, I mean, uh, you uh, um, Philly took a big loss recently in the Super Bowl, so you got to bring something back to Philly. <laughs> so yeah, man, you got to go get a big win. What was that man, like I, watching the Eagles lose right at the end? No, man, I I, I couldn't. That's an evil question, call. by the way. I, very very <laughs> evil I, question. No, I could I could not believe that call. And the, the the other call on third down, that long pass. It was to me. It was like on 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 real motion, like live. It looks like a catch. Yes, right. And I'm saying right. when they turn it over, I didn't feel like there was enough evidence to turn it over. I and agree then that, with that. That flag. It was like, bro. It's like you Long don't do time. that. You five, bro. It's a tie game. Let them Super let them, Bowl. Right. Let them play. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You gotta let them play, bro. And it wasn't. Yeah. It, he didn't even hold them, and the, and the throw was anyway overthrown. Right, it wasn't right. Like he was gonna get to it anyway. All right, Gabe. So if you do get past Zurdo, because I've been saying Zurdo like I don't speak Spanish, Zurdo, <laughs> Zurdo Ramirez. Um, what, what's your plan? Like, what's next for Gabe? Like, if you can pick your next three opponents, getting past Zurdo, who would they be? I mean, honestly, I I don't know because to me this is this is a big fight. So this is an exciting fight as far as. You know the rich rivalry that comes between Mexico and Puerto Rico, and it's not even on some beef. It's just like I love Mexican fans. You know what I'm saying? And living in LA, I get nothing but love from the from the mm -hmm. Mexican. So it's just a fight that is a meaningful fight. There's some title fights that people don't even remember. 
I think this is going to be a fight where it's going to be one of those. It's going. It's going to surprise people. It's going to be. It's going to be one of those legendary fights. Wow, wow, kind of yeah. like Beck the Beck fight. That's yeah, yeah, it. yeah, man. All right, well, we definitely look forward to that, and you know, we, we love to see in the you fight. No <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate y'all, right, man. Take it easy. Good luck, love, sir. Love you. I appreciate y'all, bro. Thank no you, doubt. brother.